This is a quick review for the Dior Skin uh, Star Fluid Foundation that's coming out. Um, it's going to be available nationwide in September. Um, it's £32 for 30 mils, and um, I have to confess when I first tried this I didn't love it but now I'm completely besotted. The wonderful thing about this foundation is it gives you really full professional coverage but is completely luminous and can be blended and buffed into the skin so that it, it looks as natural as um, a full coverage base can ever look really um, and it's got this new clever technology most um, sort of luminizing radiance giving foundations have round spheres of pigment which reflect the light, the light hits them and bounces off them um, and that's how they give themselves the luminosity. This um, foundation has almost donut shaped spheres with a hole in the middle so that the light can bounce off all the, and go all the way through which gives you a much more sort of 2D light reflection rather than occasionally you can look a bit like you're wearing a mask if you're wearing a sort of reflective foundation um, and it's got lots of lovely things in it that help your skin while you're wearing it um, including Immortel Flower which um, encourages cell, cell renewal, Daisy Extract um, which regulates um, the melanin production so if you have um, or are prone to dark spots um, that helps the daisy extract helps with that um, and licorice extract which combats redness um, I don't have bad redness but I definitely have a prone to having a few patches and one of the things I love about this foundation is that the coverage is so good that I don't have to use as much concealer. Um, they are bringing out a star fluid concealer to go with it, um, which I haven't tried. So where I usually have to wear quite a lot of concealer around the, uh, the outside of my nose, where my thread vein is, um, and under my eyes, I've been wearing less when I'm using this foundation. Uh, a really pro finish if you like um, Chanel Pro Lumia, which they don't do anymore, or the Chanel, the more full coverage Chanel um, foundations, then you should give this a try. Um, and that's it. So, as you can see, um, I do still need some concealer under my eyes, but really hardly any. And um, although the lighting isn't very good here, and the just using daylight, I haven't got any lights on you can still see there's a lovely luminous finish to this foundation um, I would give it a 10 out of 10 it smells good I love the packaging it's kind of it's kind of chunky but classic really lovely packaging um, I, I've yet to find something I don't love about this foundation so if you're looking for a new foundation it's 33 pounds which isn't cheap um, but again you can really buff and blend it into the skin so you shouldn't need to use too much um, whenever you use it and it's fantastic.